Hello everyone. On behalf of all of us at Carnival Cruise Line, I want to provide you with a quick update as we approach the one year mark in the cruise industry's pause in operations here in the U.S. As you know, the cruise industry had been working together on new health and safety protocols. However, the approval of not one, but two vaccines in December began to change the way the pandemic was being managed and how the return to cruising might be shaped. Fast forward to February, we now have additional vaccines coming online, including a single dose solution. And the new administration's COVID plan includes a very focused effort to ramp up vaccine production and distribution as quickly as possible. The goal of getting more people vaccinated quickly has appropriately become the priority. And with the news that the vaccine will be widely distributed and available to most Americans starting this spring, there is a growing sense that many activities, including cruising, will find a safe way to return. Meanwhile, we must continue to deal with the extended pause that we are in. We have canceled all cruises through the month of May, and in Australia, our pause is ongoing at least until the end of June. We've established new dates for eight of our ships that require dry docks, which will delay their return until the second half of 2021. We've also continued to communicate to our travel agent partners and guests that we are providing options for those who want to be able to cancel and incentives for those who are willing to retain their bookings as we continue to work through this uncertainty in our pause in the United States. We know how frustrating this situation is for everyone who is part of the extended Carnival Cruise Line family, including our loyal guests and our business partners. Now, the good news is that Carnival Corporation continues to be a financially sound company in spite of this extended pause. We entered this situation with a very strong balance sheet that has allowed us to raise additional capital and financing to get us through this pause and maintain our position as a leader in the global cruise industry. Meanwhile, we continue to plan for the future. Our newest and most innovative ship, our first ship with a roller coaster at sea, Mardi Gras, will be arriving in the U.S. soon. And we've recently broken ground on our new terminal at Port Miami to get ready for the 2022 arrival of Carnival Celebration, the sister ship to Mardi Gras. 16 of our ships remain in U.S. waters following the CDC requirements so that we will be ready to get back to cruising just as soon as we are able to. Our bookings for 2022 and beyond are very solid and demonstrate the pent-up demand we know is out there for cruising again. I wish I had more specific information to share with you, especially a firm start date and what the protocols will be and specifically whether a vaccine will be mandated or required for guests and crew. However, we don't have those answers at this time. What I can do right now is to pledge that we will continue to keep you informed and to thank you for all the patience and support you have shown to Carnival. We remain very confident about our future. And as we like to say here, we are Carnival and we will be back.